Say hello to my subscribers right there. Hey, we we put in a company we what we put in that guy right there is the best mechanic there. No, but yeah, yeah but, and now he's an influencer in YouTube. No, no. <laughs> Serious. That's one of the best mechanics there. D &D. Wait that Holds law. Codeology. Sparkle Cuz. I'm here to enforce Holmes Law. Come be great, man. Okay, guys, welcome to Holmes Law. How you doing? If you're listening to this on the podcast, welcome. If you're also watching this on YouTube, welcome as well. Basically, this is going to be uh, just like the last one. It's going to be a few clips with a voiceover, okay? And um, I will be the host, obviously. So, yes, I just want to touch on a few points that I didn't touch on the last time, okay? So, we're starting this off with, obviously, the wirebender. A lot of people wanted to see the actual wirebender in action up close. Here you go for those that actually requested it, okay? Now, like I said, there are a few pointers that I didn't touch upon okay that i want to on this one it's not going to be that long it's going to be a few minutes but i just wanted to actually hit on these pointers and i wanted to make sure that i spoke about it okay now you know i went over some pointers on the last one and i just wanted to you know continue on so basically when we're terminating these wires like as you see in the back okay you're going to see how they're all terminated in the order black red blue and neutral okay a phase b phase c phase neutral okay and i wanted to touch upon it that in no way you know sometimes you, you need to check the orientation of the actual terminals the bus bars okay it could be that it would be the other way around okay it would be blue red black neutral okay or you know whatever the case may be if you're working with high voltage you know uh um yellow orange brown what i'm trying to say basically and i'm trying to say is just make sure okay check the terminals check the bus bars behind the service make sure that they're going that they're in the order that you believe they are okay talk to your foreman talk to your supervisor double check okay don't go through what i went through okay i do have to admit i messed up once and it didn't sit well for me for a couple of days that i actually made that mistake thankfully i had enough wire to actually switch it around and fix it okay don't be the knucklehead that i am you know don't go through it make sure double check okay just so that you know that you're landing them in the right spot <clears throat> Okay, excuse me now with that said you know i want to just continue on with the um you know the wire bending and all that yes i'm using the wire bender okay but in no way i didn't want to go crazy and you know come down and do a sharp turn you know i didn't want to go crazy with the wire bender is what i'm basically saying you know i didn't want to have these square bends everywhere it's very cluttered i have 11 sets it could have got crazy really really crazy up by the actual connectors that's why i chose this just to swoop down and make a, a nice clean bend and go into the terminal. The reason why I was I was gonna do that whether I had the bender or not was so that I had a straight piece of wire going into the terminal. This way there was no pressure on the actual lugs from it pulling it away. As you can see, the black wire is coming all the way from the right side and I'm going all the way to the left side. So if I just would've went right in, <clears throat> excuse me, it would've, you know put a little pressure on the actual terminal and i didn't want that to happen okay so i i actually straightened it out and i made sure i went in with a straight piece of wire okay with that said you know you could use a piece of a conduit you know a larger piece maybe a two inch or an inch and a quarter inch and a half put some rubber tape around it and use that or they have these manual wire benders as well that you can use okay so just wanted to actually you know keep that you know in your head also okay somebody brought it to my attention okay i forgot what his name was he was actually in the comments from the last video he brought to my attention wire lashings at first i didn't know what he was talking about so i googled it and it hit my head <clears throat> 
I do know what he's talking about. The only thing is, is that I'm not familiar to it in New York because that's not a practice that you see every day here in New York City. Now, I've done it in Chicago when I was away, and I've also done it in Florida when I was away. I've done it in other states, okay, and it's I didn't really know the name of it at, at all. I didn't know it was called wire lashings at all. I didn't, I didn't know that. This was years ago, okay. But I do know what he's talking about. And it's basically all it is is a nylon rope, okay, that you um you wrap around your conductors, you know, just so that they're basically there isn't any pressure like what I was saying on the terminals and so that they if they don't if they do come loose they're not they're not gonna be uh loose in s- and they just they're not gonna be wobbling all around, basically, you know, if they do happen to by some miracle come loose. <clears throat> you know, they're actually supported by the other conductors as well that are in that phase. So you would basically just take a, you know, a, a nylon rope and wrap them around, you know, one whole phase. And, you know, there's a certain way you actually do it. Look it up, wire lashings, and you'll see what I'm talking about. You can Google it and you'll, you can see further of what I'm talking about. So that was another point that I actually wanted to talk about as well. You know, was the wire lashings. You know, we here, we usually basically use zip ties a lot, which basically is the same thing. But I believe that wire lashings is a lot neater and it makes it look a lot better. Okay, but sometimes when you bring new things into the, you know, not into the industry, but wherever you're working, you know, and you have a foreman that's never seen it before, he's going to look at you kind of like you're crazy and, you know, and he won't allow it, you know, or whatever the case may be. You're not, not too many people are open-minded, you know, and, um, yeah, so that's basically just how it is, you know, but, um, I want to thank that person for the comment, whoever it was, I, sorry, I forgot your name. Anyways, let's keep it moving. Now I'm at the twerking part of the actual you know, clip, which is something that I wanted to speak about too as well, you know, torquing is very important, you want to make sure you know what torque, you know, uh, uh, spec you're going to be um, torquing it at, okay, and uh, for me, I was, like I said in the last video, I was torquing it to 46, all right, I didn't have anything on the actual, you know, equipment that gave me their uh, torque requirements, so I went ahead and I looked up on the, uh, the terminals and I went to the website and I got their information now sometimes when you look up in the information on the on the terminals it's going to give you their maximum value okay so you want to be careful on that all right you could also go to the code and if you go to annex i uh informa- informative annex i it'll give you some talk specs there as well okay so just I want to give you a point of that before I go when you do torque them down Shake the wire a little bit just to get them adjusted. I'm not telling you to shake it like an animal or anything. I'm just telling you, give it a little, you know, a little shake just so it can settle in. And when you go to torque it, you'll see maybe you might get a little more, uh, you know, a little more pulls in there. Okay, you might be able to get a little tightened up a little more. Okay, just to make sure that it's nice and tight in there and that it's settled in. But you also don't want to go overboard. All right, so yeah. That's basically, you know, it for the video. I just wanted to make sure that you guys got those last few pointers, you know. And um, I'll have more videos coming out, guys. Send me those requests. I have a lot coming in. You know, send me them in. I'm going through them. And, uh, yeah.